Hey everybody, Matthew Cook here, and this is episode... Hey everybody, I'm Matthew Cook, and this is episode 89 on the Tactical Dad Podcast. And this episode is going to consist of me talking about everything from a uh, point .22 to a 12 gauge. We're going to talk a little bit about the top ammunition types for every gun owner to most likely buy. Every gun owner, every new gun owner at least should know about. Because if you're new, you're probably buying a, probably buying a handgun or a rifle or a shotgun. One of them three, since they are really the three main categories. And you're going to be probably buying one of these types of ammunition. So you should know some basics on them. So up first is number one, the 9mm Luger. The 9mm Luger is also known as the 9mm Paravellum. And there's there's actually a ton of other names to it too. I can't remember off the top of my head, but there's a bunch and they all, they're all referring to the 9mm. This is probably the most popular cartridge in the world. And it's used very commonly for self-defense, law enforcement, target shooting. It's just so widely available and relatively inexpensive. I got a thousand rounds at the weekend for what worked out to be like 23, 24 cents a round. So it's pretty good. And it's just a popular choice for many gun owners. So something to note with that is that there are round nose and hollow points and they, and uh, with pistol ammo and rifle ammo, there's hollow points, but I'm just referencing it for a pistol right now for a nine millimeter. The hollow point is a type of ammunition that is designed mainly for home defense, self-defense, because when the bullet hits, uh, when the bullet makes impact, uh, it expands, so it can do some serious damage to a threat or an intruder. Whereas a round nose is, it's more like gonna go straight through. Uh, although, you know, there'll be some fragmentation, some like separation, however, it's not designed for that. So there won't be as much of a, like a spread with a round nose than a hollow point. So second up on the list is the .223 Remington and the 556 NATO. These cartridges we've talked a lot about in, in a few episodes now, and it's been really interesting to see people's responses and comments. I've learned a lot more, that's for sure. Now, the this cartridge is used in a variety of firearms, including, most notably, a semi-automatic rifle. And it's used a lot for hunting, a lot of competitive shooting, and actually now quite a significant amount of law enforcement purposes. It's also, the 556 is also the cartridge used by the US military. So it's like the official standard cartridge that's used. Now, something to note here is a 556 five, NATO chambered rifle can handle both a 223 and a 556 ammo, but not the other way around, unless it's a 223 wild chambered rifle. Now, the 223 wild chambered rifle uh, chamber is able to handle the uh, the capacity and the pressure that a 556 and a 223 produce so that's why it's safe but a 223 chambered rifle can't handle the pressure of a 556 so it's not going to do well over time you might not see an immediate impact or issue but it's not designed for it so don't do it then third on the list is the 0.22 lr the lr long rifle is what it's short for is a popular choice for plinking and target shooting due to its pretty low recoil and it's actually quite affordable. It's commonly used for small game hunting too. So I was surprised at the price actually of that when I looked more into it. I don't need any of that uh, uh, 0.22 LR but I was really shocked at the price, really good. Now what I will be purchasing very soon in efforts and towards my competitive shooting progress is a pistol that is that, that handles a 0.45 ACP. This cartridge is commonly used in pistols, including the iconic 1911. It's often used for self-defense and what I'm doing, competitive shooting. It is also known for its stopping power and accuracy. So 
that's pretty cool. I'll be buying some of that. I'm not too familiar with pricing on that yet and how expensive different brands are, but uh, I'm sure I'll I get very well very well versed in it since that's what I'll be going out to buy very soon. And then fifth on the list is the 12 gauge. This is a shotgun shell and it's most it's uh, one of the most versatile types of ammunition. It's used for hunting, a lot of self-defense, although I'm just not a big real believer in a shotgun for self-defense i got my other i got my reasons and maybe they'll change over time but as of right now not a big fan of self-defense shotgun 12 gauge shotgun and it is used also for a lot of sporting events a lot of sporting um types of events it's popular due to its effectiveness like no shit <laughs> and its versatility and availability let's like in shotgun, the 12 gauge in shotgun world is like the equivalent of the 9mm, so pretty popular. Now, if you are new to shooting, you are new to guns and ammo, you are no doubt going to be buying one of these. So, this is just a short episode showing, uh, well, not sure, I'm not showing you anything, uh, telling you about those five very common types of ammunition that you should know about. One that, that you should learn, sorry, sorry, you should know more about and learn more about. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting you to dip your toe in the water. That's all from me today on this episode. If you are an expert and you know a lot about guns and ammo, please comment, please share, please get involved with this because a lot of people, a lot of new gun owners learn from this and learn a lot in the comment section. Uh, you'll, you'll see a bunch of people bash me, um, but that's fine. Just jump in and provide some value and education because I'm just... Uh, document in my journey and hopefully I can help some new gun owners along the way so please expert reach out comment share add some more value I appreciate it. have a good day and I'll see you soon